What's up, everybody? I'm Greg Sussman, joined by Gabe Morenci. Monday night football tonight. The Dallas Cowboys host the Tennessee Titans in Jerry World. Depending on where you're looking, they're anywhere from a six-point favorite to a five-and-a-half-point favorite. Gabe, what are you thinking? You know what, uh, Greg, you remember um, it was about three weeks ago, I guess Seattle and Oakland were playing in London. I told you our best bet of the week. How do we not love this? Uh, give me Seattle uh, to beat Oakland. That was our isolated best bet of the week. Uh, we had the Baltimore-Carolina game. We had the Indianapolis uh, game last week that you liked as well against the Raiders. I remember two weeks ago, I said our best bet of the week, the isolated bet uh, would be the Minnesota Vikings over uh, Gang Green and the New York Jets. This week, I was looking. All right, what's that one game that that's the one? And you just know it. it's organic. All right? It has to happen naturally. So I was looking at the screen. I'm going I'm scrolling. I'm like, no, 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 no. Hard to believe, but... This is the game that stuck out to me the most all week. Earlier in the week, it was six and a half points. Dallas Cowboys favored. And they're mirror images of each other. You know, this is Spider-Man and Spider-Man. Dak Prescott, Marcus Mariota. You know, they they are mirror images of each other, these football teams. They both want to play ball control. They both play a slower tempo. They both want to run the football. They both have mobile sort of average quarterbacks that can be good but can't be average. You can argue that, all right, Dallas have a better uh, running back in Elliott, and they do, um, but Dallas also don't really have a distinct home field advantage, and it's kind of strange. They might have a, you know, a ton of fans, and they might be the most valuable franchise in the world, uh, but that stadium's too comfortable. Cowboy fans aren't insane. No one's intimidated going in there. The Cowboys, even when the Cowboys have been good with Tony Romo and company in the old days, you know, they haven't been a good home favorite since Troy Aikman was the quarterback and Michael Irvin was there, et cetera. Now you're laying five and a half, six points against a, a Tennessee Titan team that people are more negative um, on than I think they should be. They're a three and four football team because they've lost three games in a row. They lost by one point to the Buffalo Bills and they lost by one point to the Chargers. They get that two point conversion. And we're talking about a different situation and a different point spread here uh, right now. We should note that these two teams are a combined 10 and 4 to the under, as they both are very offensively challenged. Tennessee Titans only average 15 points a game, uh, but they only give up 18 points a game. Dallas score 20 points a game, they give up 17 and a half points a game. This game sort of has 2017 written all over it, but when you got an NFL total at 40 in today's day and age, hard for me not to want to take a look at the over in this game. But I'll tell you what, I'm all over the Tennessee Titans here. I, I was I was dead wrong. The Cowboys kicked the crap out of the Jacksonville Jags three weeks ago, whenever it was, and I said, oh, Cowboys are good, it's not going to happen. I was wrong. The Jags have been getting beat up by everybody, though, right? I, you know, I was wrong about that game because I was wrong about the situation three weeks ago. It doesn't scare me off. Uh, this week. Scared money never wins. Who's scared, homie? You scared? Not me. Give me the Tennessee Titans plus the points. My best bet of the week. Best bet of the week. Monday night football. Tennessee in Dallas. You gotta love Gabe Morenci. I know I do. I'm Greg Sussman for Gabe Morenci. Good luck tonight getting the game. We'll be right back here tomorrow to let you know on who you gotta pick up off your waiver wire. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you then.